I'm Sam from Sheridan Computers. I previously recorded a number of tutorial videos on Asterisk. If you're unfamiliar with Asterisk, it's an open source platform for building PBX solutions. Uh, in my previous videos, which I'll leave links to at the end, I went through how to install the core version of Asterisk, which is completely free, um, but requires extensive use of the command line. For those not tech savvy with Linux and the command line, then there's an alternative way of setting up a PBX, and that's um, using free PBX. Free PBX is basically a graphical user interface which sits on top of Asterisk. While it's free for the most part, um, there are paid modules and um, commercial support options which you can purchase. So before we go any further, if you'd like to hire us for any projects, please head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and click on the Hire Us button. Uh, fill out the form, leave some details on what you're looking for and we'll get back to you. While you're on our website, you can also find out more information about us, who we are, uh, some of the projects that we do and some of the clients that we deal with. Um, if you like this uh, video, please take the time to hit the like button. It does help the channel. Also consider subscribing. And if you hit the notifications icon, you will receive notifications of any new videos as they are released. So um, I'm going to be doing this on XCPNG. To be honest, it's um, pretty much the same process for uh, a bare metal installation. A bare metal installation, probably um, a little bit more straightforward. Um, but I don't have a spare machine, so I'm doing it on XCPNG. So if you do need to do this um, and get it configured running through XCPNG, this is going to be the perfect video for you. If you're not and you're just using a bare metal installation, then you can also use this video to go forward. Now, I've not installed um, free PBX for a number of years, and it's quite a few years since I've uh, played with it. A lot of people rave on about it, so I'm going to take a look at it, and we can do this together. So I'm going to first go ahead and um, create a virtual machine to run this on. I'm going to select my template. I have checked it, just what version it's running on. It's running on CentOS 7. Um, give it a name, free PBX, spell it properly. Um, I'll give it two virtual CPUs, four gig of RAM. I'll leave the uh, topology just default. We're going to select the uh, install disk. Um, where is it? So that's the uh, latest version, 2002.2, and that's as of um, May 2020. Uh, scroll down a bit further. Network, we're going to leave it on the LAN. Uh, select a storage repository. I'm going to stick it on my SSD store. I'll give it a disk so I can uh, follow it. Oh, not PBX, FreeB, FreePBX even. Um, initial disk space, I'm going to give it 50 gig. Pretty much all I need to set in there. Yep, let's go ahead and uh, create the virtual machine. Go ahead and power that on. Um, okay, so I've not installed this, as I mentioned, for uh, God, it's a good few years since I've done this. Um, but looking at the options, we have Asterisk 15 based on uh, free PBX 15 based on Asterisk version 16 or Asterisk version 13. Um, we want the latest version, Asterisk 16. There are quite a few differences. Um, graphical output to VGA. Kind of makes sense and free PBX standard. Nothing too complicated there. Just this window like a bit.
So the install pretty much um, didn't give me the option to set anything there. It just went off and started installing. Um, okay, so we need to set the root password. No, just uh, go ahead and wait. So we've got to the uh, installing free, B free PBX part, um, step 631 of 707. It just seems to have um, paused and be taking a while here. Just give it some time, don't be impatient. So now we're just uh, performing post until installation tasks. Uh, this takes a few minutes as well. Um, okay, that appears to have uh, completed. So now we just need to reboot. Um, this being CentOS, it might hang when I try and reboot. It's uh, the CentOS installer has done that on me a few times in XCPNG. It's nothing to worry about, just force a machine to turn off and uh, reboot that way. It won't cause any problems down the line. So let's go ahead and reboot. Nope, seems to have uh, booted, rebooted properly, just a second. Yeah, check the media. Okay, so we've rebooted. So at this time we can go ahead and log in um, with the username of root and the password that we created during the installation process. Um, and as we can see, we've got the uh, local address 10.1.10.111 .10 on F0. Um, most tasks should be done through the GUI. Uh, this machine is not activated. Activating your system ensures that this machine is eligible for support and that it has ability to install commercial modules. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that for a minute. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm doing this on XCPNG. Well, as you can see, I'm doing that. Um, we're going to need some uh, Zen tools installed. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, install the CD. Okay. Let's mount that. Yeah. And if we do a mount Linux install. Fail to determine Linux distribution and version. That was something that goes wrong doing on these videos. Um, okay, so if you're using XCPNG, the uh, install script for the guest tools can't recognize the operating system. It's CentOS 7, so we'll just go and do it manually. Um, so we want to yum install and I want XE guest utilities 
Zen store. Uh, all them ones basically. Go ahead and install that. And I also want to install XE guest utilities. I want to install the standard utilities as well. So we're good. So we now have the uh, Zeng guest tools installed. Um, just log out real quick. And then log back in. Can't remember what IP address it was on. 10.1.10.111. So now we should be uh, good to go ahead to the uh, web interface and log in with the browser. So we've got some uh, initial setup to do. So we need a admin username, admin, original, give it a password. System notification email address, so wherever you want your notifications to go. System identifier, um, you should stick something in there. So you can identify your system, automatic module updates, yeah, we should leave them on. You can also just get email alerts if you want. I can't see any reason to uh, not leave them on. Uh, check for updates every Saturday between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. Sounds good. So it looks like we set up, we have four options, free PBX admin, a user control panel, operator panel, and get support. Uh, so the user control panel will be for uh, controlling end user extensions, but for the end user to control their own extension, sorry, the operator panel is what it says, an operator panel. So let's uh, go and take a look at the administration side of things. So stick your uh, admin password in that you just created. Welcome to your new PBX. Thanks for installing free PBX. Your machine is almost, almost ready to go. Before we get started, would you like to activate your new server? Activation is optional, but is highly recommended. Activating your server is required to purchase commercial modules and paid support. Um, it's up to you if you decide to do that. I'm going to um, skip that at this stage. And we get an advert. And another advert. Um, okay, so system prompts. So, sys sound prompt language. Uh, you need to set this, don't just leave it as English. Um, because it'll um, set the voices with an asterisk to uh, your region and locality. System language. We've got to go United States for that. And Europe, London, so that's correct. This is taking a few minutes because we've got to um, extract all the sound files and we've just selected the United Kingdom ones. By default, the United States, so it's got to just extract them, so it will take a few minutes. Uh, okay, we're good to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Sangoma Smart Firewall, it says. Uh, to receive the full benefits of the Sangoma Smart Firewall, you should ensure that no other firewall is intercepting traffic to this machine. This is normally accomplished by configuring your internet connection to place a machine and a DMZ. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that because this is just a test machine. Um, so what it's saying is put your machine in the DMZ and let the firewall control it. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that for these purposes. Uh, what is this? Another advert? SIP station, SIP trunks, free trial. Um, no, we have our own SIP trunk provider, so might not need to. Okay, so we're ready to go at this stage.
Uh, let's have a quick browse if there's anything that we need to set up. Administrators, phone book, blacklist, and already class of service, congregate, contact major. Um, system admin, possibly. So the system admin module is optional and gives you the uh, ability to manage different operating system level settings, such as network settings, HTTP, and HTTPS ports, host name, email, and DNS settings. So, um, yeah, there's a good reason to activate the machine. Um, applications, connectivity. Settings, anything we need to do under here. Let's have a quick look under advanced settings, see if there's what we need to do here. Okay, so these are actually asterisk based settings. Um, so at that stage, the um, Just gonna apply a config button. Do we need to hit that? Yes. Yeah, so, any settings it shows up apply config. So we need to hit that. Um. That's how to install FreePBX. Now, to be honest, um, as I say, it's a long while since I've actually um, installed FreePBX. And I uh, just wanted to go through how to do it. I figured I'd do it live as I was doing it. Um, we're going to leave this video here. That's about the end of it. So, so it's just um, basically sets the uh, groundwork for doing some future videos on FreePBX. So we're going to go through pretty much as I did with the uh, Core Asterix tutorials. So I'm going to go through setting up some extensions and um, getting some zip trunks set up, inbound and outbound calls, some call queues. We'll look at setting up voicemail, etc. Um, but as I say, that's it for now. So if you'd like to hire us for anything, um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, head across to our website. If you found this video useful, please uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next series of our free PBX videos.